This is the third part of my vlog about my pilgrimage to Thailand with a group of young people. Celebrating mass whilst a tropical rainstorm is drumming on the roof proves to be a challenge, but the external clamor calms down precisely at the moment of the Eucharist. Ready for a refreshment after mass, I ask for a green tea. It is quite a surprise when it arrives, as it rather looks like a green cappuccino. The next day we visit an elephant camp where domestic elephants, which no longer can survive in the wild, are nurtured and taken care of. For many of us it is the first time to be so close to these enormous animals, which have a great appetite for green leaves and love playing in the water. They also prove to be very clever and even able to play football with their giant feet, as well as to paint delicate compositions with their trunks. You may remember my vlog about the Echternacht dancing procession in Luxembourg. The same tune is played the next morning as we drive in a long procession of pickup trucks towards the village where another pilgrimage from Luxembourg worked on the construction of the church three years ago. Along the road we are welcomed by the happy villagers. The liturgical procession towards the church becomes a true dancing procession when the villagers and young people join in the liturgical procession dance from Echternach, the church dedicated to Saint Willibrod, the great apostle of the Netherlands. And during the Mass, the bishop reminds us that this great saint came to rest from his missionary travels in a monastery in Luxembourg. Whilst the bishop administers sacrament of confirmation to some of the participants, the choir sings with angelic voices, Veni Sancte Spiritus, Come Holy Spirit. With this beautiful sound, I conclude this vlog series, very grateful for my experiences in Thailand.